The XTIC PH100 flat surface electrode has many features and benefits that make it ideal for use in carpet cleaning. The unique, rugged, flat surface electrode with no glass bulb construction allows you to read pH levels of fabric and carpet with a minimal amount of moisture. The pH of a spot or stain can be determined to aid in the selection of the best approach to removing the problem. Simply use these easy steps to determine the pH of the affected area. Use a pH meter that has a flat surface electrode such as the x PH100 from x -Tech. Step 1. Calibration. If the electrode is new or hasn't been used for a while, condition it in a buffer solution such as a pH 4 or 7 for approximately 10 minutes. Rinse the electrode in water and then calibrate the meter in pH 7 buffer solution and press the cal button. The cal display will appear and the reading will flash for a few seconds to stabilize. When calibration is completed, end will appear along with the buffer reading. If necessary, a second or third point calibration can be made using buffers 4 and 10 by simply repeating step 1. Step 2. Preparing the sample. Use a trigger spray bottle to apply a mist of water to the carpet and then to the affected spot. Use caution not to add too much water as this will alter the pH of the carpet or fabric. Then with a clean bone scraper, agitate the areas for testing. Note: Using a towel or your hand is not recommended for it could alter the true pH readings by introducing other substances to the area. Step 3 taking a measurement. Apply the calibrated pH meter electrode to the area to be tested. Agitate the face yarn with the probe for best reading results. Take three to four readings and use the last reading as the true pH. The carpet is around 7 pH and the affected area has a pH reading of 5.3. Generally, a cleaner does not need to know the exact pH, but only the range. Use this chart as a guide to determine how acidic the affected area is. The chart breaks down the pH into five ranges, from strongly acidic to strongly alkaline. Now we can analyze the stain with the pH reading we've just obtained. It registered 3 to 6 pH with characteristics of being sticky. From this information we can conclude that the stain is most likely food related. You can then refer to your cleaning manual and decide what type of detergent is best used to treat this type of stain. After you are done measuring, simply rinse the electrode in water and dry it with a soft cloth or paper towel. Make sure that the sponge inside the protective cap stays moist with buffer 4 or 7 pH. This will maintain the pH electrode's functionality. Then put the cap on the electrode for safe storage. The pH x stick meter provides a quick way to analyze a problem in the fabric or carpet by determining the pH of the carpet prior to cleaning. By including a pH pen in your inspection kit, it will communicate the level of professionalism that is beyond that of your competition. For more information on the x stick pH meter or the pH reference guide to the type of stain, refer to the x stick Simplified Operation and Sampling Procedures for Carpet and Fabric brochure or visit our website at www.xtech.com slash